Good morning. I hope you all are doing well and taking good care of yourselves. I welcome you all to the Beacon House Schooling Uninterrupted. I welcome you to English Class Grade 6. Let's have a look at the learning outcomes of today's lesson. You will be able to differentiate between the contextual use of some commonly confused prepositions. You must have done prepositions since Grade 2. And you may be thinking, what's new about this topic? But it's really important to understand the difference between some prepositions which we commonly confuse and end up using incorrectly. Therefore, this lesson is important since it seems to address confusions. I will be giving you tips when to use what, especially in verses into, between verses among, on versus over versus above. First of all, in verses into. In is used to indicate something or someone inside a place covered by boundaries or borders around it. See, the ball is in the box. While into is used to indicate the movement to the inside of the place. Basically, into is the combination of two different prepositions, in and to. See, the car is moving towards its certain position. The ball is going into the box. Next, we have between versus among. Between is typically used when referring to two things. For example, can you spot the differences between the two products? She held the diamond between her thumb and forefinger. Even you can depict from this picture, the pair work is being done between two students only. While among is used for a greater number. Examples are, there is no cooperation among the party leaders. He stood among all his friends and felt very happy. Group work is also depicted from this picture. Group work is being done among different students. See, more than two. Next, we have on versus over versus above. On is in relation to something touching surface. For example, my journal is on the desk. He sat on the stone wall. Whereas over is used to indicate the movement of something higher. For example, the clouds moved over the city. Next is above. Above is in relation to something higher. For example, the clouds lingered above the city. Here are a few more examples for on, over and above. The apple is on the box. The ball is over the box, while the football is above the box. Now that you have understood the concept of different prepositions, you can assess your understandings by taking a short quiz. You can pause your video here, replay it and check your answers. Let's have a look at the answers. What have you got in your bag? He broke the jug into a hundred pieces. There is a lot of difference between good and bad. There are many good sportsmen among our class students. You boys must settle it among yourselves. Look, there is a man on the roof. What's he doing? I did not go to the football match, but I watched it on television. He was wearing a blue coat over the shirt. There is a small cottage above the lake. Mount Everest is about 8,000 above sea level. That's all from today's lesson. Thank you.